Think of your autonomic nervous system as the automatic nervous system. And I've been saying for years that autonomic is synonymous with automatic. And it's that part of our systems, a part of our nervous system that functions behind the scenes of our awareness. And it regulates body temperature and, and hormones and blood supply and blood sugar levels. Uh, and, it, and it happens without any uh, uh, of our conscious mind. So in the autonomic nervous system, there are two branches. So one is the sympathetic nervous system, and its job is for protection uh, from threats and dangers in our outer environment. And think of the sympathetic nervous system as the gas pedal. And when there's a danger to the gross anatomy of the body by something in our outer world that we can perceive with our senses, this system is switched on automatically. And once it turns on, there's a host of physiological functions that begin to happen automatically. And when that occurs, we're mobilizing all of the body's energy, all of the body's resources uh, for that threat or that danger to deal with it. And, and when it's switched on, uh, we don't go half in, we go all the way in because we have to make sure that the body is going to survive survive in a threat or a danger in the outer environment. And, and when there's a release of all those adrenal hormones, uh, we're tapping the body's resources and we're mobilizing all of its energy. And pupils dilate, salivary juices shut off, respiratory rate increases, heart rate increases, uh, blood is sent to the extremities, uh, glucose is mobilized, uh, the immune system dials up and then it dials down. And all of these systems switching on and, and turning on is to be able to allow the body to adapt to some threat in the outer world. And uh, that is the gas pedal. And the sympathetic nervous system or the fight or flight nervous system uh, causes us to really do just a few things. To run uh, from the danger, uh, to fight uh, and stay, or to freeze and hide. And those are the primary choices that we have created in evolution. And so, when the sympathetic nervous system is switched on, and we, as we've been saying for, very long, uh, for a very long time, uh, the short-term effect of the hormones of stress, uh, the body can adapt and return back to balance, and it switches on the other nervous system, uh, that branch of the autonomic nervous system called the parasympathetic nervous system. And think of that nervous system as the brake uh, or the clutch. Uh, this is where the body conserves energy. This is where it utilizes nutrients and, and transports uh, chemicals to cells and metabolism goes up. And, and this is a time for growth. This is a time for repair. This is a time for restoration. And there's a delicate balance between the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. And so then when you're feeling uh, constant fear, when you're feeling constant anger or aggression, when you're feeling constant pain and suffering, and you're living by the hormones of stress, uh, what was once very adaptive is now very maladaptive because if stress is knocking your brain and body out of balance, and the stress response is what the body does to return it back to order. If we're living in constant fear, then we are tapping the body's vital resources and there's no energy for growth, repair, restoration. There's no energy for long-term building projects.